and welcome back to my channel welcome to another video it's been a long time since i filmed a haul there are orders here from like july and august it's been a while but it's really exciting let's show you what i got to absolutely nobody's surprise the first shop is planner face i do pr for planner face so you can use my code cat to save 10 percent on your orders and if you add my name in notes to seller you can pick up one of these seasonal freebies i don't have any right now but, uh, because they recently changed but they're currently winter themed so do have a look on the planner face social media if you want to check that out so this is a combination of things um some of it will be pr credit so i do get pr credit and points in exchange for promoting for anna some of it is from the full pbc sale and there's various other things so we'll just go through what they are because <laughs> uh, i feel like that's the most important thing so i've merged all of my orders together so we're going to do all the freebies first because you won't in the main be able to pick these up anymore so first up we've got the august freebie and then i've got two of the october freebie i love anna's all order freebies i just love the way we get doodles in different color schemes and themes just love those this was a halloween freebie which is a christmas countdown i love that love the font for this love the doodles that's so cute i will definitely be trying to use that this year then I've got two of the autumn freebie sets so as I said we're now on a winter theme but there's basically six different ones to collect and the winter ones are quite similar in that we have some doodles we have some full boxes etc so those are the doodle versions there then we have uh, number five which is the tracker freebie then I have my full PBC sale freebies. So you will not be able to pick these up anymore, unfortunately. So I'll go through them relatively quickly. But these are tiered freebies. So the more you spend, the more freebies you got, which is so exciting. And this is one of my favorite freebie sets Anna has ever done. So for the all order freebie, we have this gorgeous dog box. I'm so glad that everybody got the dog who ordered and the snowdrops there. Then the £25 freebie, we've got four full boxes. We've got some journaling elements and some scripts in the colour scheme. And then these, I think, must go with the £50 freebie. Um, so I guess we'll come back to those. This is a mini kit. I love this theme so much. I love the house. I love the snowdrop theme. I love the colours. It's so wintry i think it's beautiful and i absolutely love this jumper i have many jumpers like that i'm wearing one that's quite similar right now love the bag i just really 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 like this kit i definitely want to use it in my lineup next year thinking maybe january maybe march as well march is actually often very snowy here in the uk so i feel like i always save my winter kits for january and actually it snows in march so <laughs> this might be a good fit there so yeah these come with the 25 pounds so we've got the alternate of that box with the side plat which i would like 100 percent wear my hair like that and then we've got the doodles and the deco and then we've got it again because I do have the full kit as well. So those are for the full kit. So this is the full kit. I love the house scene. So gorgeous. I love this um, music note uh, record box as well. This is so pretty. Honestly, this might be like the peak uh, planner face tiered freebie she's ever done for me. <laughs> I just love it so much. And these colours are so me. I actually think they're so much. Oh my word, the bottom washi look at the snowdrops that's so stunning okay so we have the alternate of the boxes there from the front page and then if you were subscribed to the newsletter i expect then you got this toolbox we do normally get the toolboxes as the uh newsletter freebie i think this is gorgeous that's art by lavi who's one of my favorite artists i just really really love her stuff so those are all of my freebies so let's get into my sort of various things i've got here so First up, I'm so excited to say, in case you're not aware, Anna is now doing custom scripts. This has been one of the single most requested things for Anna to do ever. Uh, it's really, really, really exciting that Anna's figured out a way to do it. Because as Anna's bestie, I've been a bit worried about how the workload would, you know, there's, there's just Anna there working away on this stuff and it's hard to sort of know how she was going to do this and how she was going to scale up. But Tom, the, the genius that is Tom, managed to figure out a way that Anna could do this using a piece of software that he built. And the script builder is really cool because you get a lot of customization choice over what you do. So for example, you can have either just the curly font or you can have the sort of more capital letter front. I'm filming this during Black Friday. This video won't go up in time, but I'm filming this during Black Friday and there's a script for Black Friday that's going to be available. There's also some smaller scripts that have been introduced as well. 
well. You also can select how your scripts look. So there's different sort of ways. You can either have them as one line or multiple lines and see how that looks. It's just so cool. And you can see sort of how many custom scripts you can fit on each page. It's, it takes a little bit of playing around with, but it's so much fun. I actually got these for free. Thank you, Anna, uh, for testing the software. And I messaged Anna um, while I was doing it, I was like, this is so much fun. I was like, I feel like I'm playing at like sticker shop owner. I'm just like putting in my scripts and looking at how my sheet's gonna work. It's so exciting. So I went for a bit of a range of scripts so that I could show you kind of the different things the script builder can do. So first up, I've got these ones, which are Cuddles with Stuart. That's my fiance. So I wanted to show you that, you know, this is what's really exciting is that you can put in like the names of people if you've ever wanted to do scripts for them. I did wedding admin as a script because as somebody getting married next year, I have a fair amount of wedding admin. So that was the script I thought was like very useful for me. I did this one, which is driving lessons because I am having driving lessons at the moment. So you can see here the difference between what we're fitting on a page. So Cuddles with Stuart is long script. So we've got two columns. Wedding admin is smaller. So we've gone for three, but driving lessons fit four. So look how many you're getting on a sheet there. I also went for panic attack and these ones I just went for the curly font so just to show you that you can have the capital letters and the curly or you can just have the curly and so yeah panic attack is unfortunately something I have to mark a lot meetings all day is something I've realized I mark all the time so I thought those would be good ones to have and again it's good for you to kind of see how the bigger ones look and then this one so you can either do what I've done here where I've had the same script repeated like however many times it fits on the sheet but you can actually have complete flexibility and you can have every single one with a different script uh like different wording so if you wanted to you could literally make one of these on the builder for each week of your planning so i think that that's really cool it just gives complete flexibility and whilst I'm not going to do that, uh, because honestly, that would require too much forward planning from me to do that. But I did want to go for like a bit of a mixture for this workout sheet because I don't need a whole sheet that says the same thing while I'm still figuring out what workouts I'm going to do in this sort of next phase of my life. So I've gone for all these different ones. So I've got like six that say spin workout, then treadmill workout, then workout video, and then walk to town. So that's just to show you the different things that uh, the script builder can do. I absolutely love it. You can't use any codes or or, you know, these are not available in the sales and things like that, but they are absolutely just, it's so fun. And for those of you that have been asking me about this for ages and asking when Anna was going to do it and trying to beg Anna to do it, she's done it. So it's very exciting. Okay, so then we get into some doodles that I picked up a little while ago. So these ones are breakfast doodles. I mark breakfast doodles a lot for when I stay over in hotels for work and I'd run out. So that was just a restock there. Then I'm just going to caveat by this by saying I'm not pregnant, okay? The, the way I'm going to announce <laughs> that if I get pregnant is not going to be in a haul. Um, but Anna recently released these baby doodles and, you know, I don't know if they'll still be in shop at the point that I need them. So I just decided to pick them up anyway. I'm that kind of person. So I've got these ones which are for scans. These ones which are prams. We've got the like baby mat thing. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a parent. Carrier, a dummy and a bottle so I just picked up my favorite ones of those then I picked up just the toolboxes from Glam Christmas so this was a mystery last year one of my favorite mysteries we've ever done it just came out so well and so I already have it I didn't need to pick it up again when it was reformatted this year but when Anna did the mystery we didn't have the four different toolboxes so I picked this one up just because that's the one that looks most like me so I just picked that up then we get into all the kits so really exciting and what's hilarious is that i'm hauling this and then a load of black friday kits are going to arrive so to start with we have christmas countdown so i wasn't going to get this kit not because i don't love it because clearly i do i bought it but i was like i don't need another christmas kit i have so many already i bought loads in christmas in july i can't get another one and then i saw everybody buying this and i was like no i have to have it and oh my word it's stunning I actually made Anna restock it for me <laughs> thanks friend uh but I just love this I love this scene with the houses and the Christmas lights love all the flat lays of the presents and the food I love the fashion person I literally own a jumper like this I love that we've got a piano included as well it really reminds me of the film Meet Me in St. Louis which is my favorite Christmas film it's mine and my dad's tradition to watch Meet Me in St. Louis every year so yeah I'm actually really happy to have it and I love the colors they're actually like a really deep Christmas colorway with like a dark red and a dark green and it's just beautiful I have absolutely no idea which Christmas kits I'm going to use this year because I have so many Christmas kits 
gang there's so many um i would have to do christmas kits for many months and i'm not going to do that so i don't know what we're going to do so in terms of what we have here that is the bottom washi i don't have the glitter headers yet but i ordered them in black friday i've got the doodles and the deco we've got the alternate skin tones there and then i did also pick up the toolbox because how could i not look at that red coat i had to so that is christmas countdown uh then i have ye old fair so this was one of jess's art sets from this year and it's this really cool renaissance theme i it's so unique and if you know anything about me you'll know that i love a unique planner kit it's just i yeah i i don't know when i would use it but it really reminds me of uh, we went to Warwick Castle and they were doing like a War of the Roses thing there. And I think this would be perfect for going somewhere like that. So I absolutely think that will be a use for me. So I got the full kit again. Anna does do mini kits and she does journaling kits of a lot of collections as well. But I am mostly a full kit person. So I have got those. Love that bottom washi as well. That's so fun uh so yeah we've got the normal freebie add-ons there and again i haven't got the glitter headers yet but i picked them up in black friday then i have got main street i love this art this is uh, a set that lavi released recently and it's it's a really unique take on a theme that is relatively common you know we have a lot of coffee kits we have a lot of kind of um i guess like shopping -y kits but i just feel that this one's so different with the leopard theme i think this is perfect for black friday week because of all the shopping elements and i just really love it and i really hope i'll get to use it this year because i think it's going to look really unique in my planner all the cake i don't even drink coffee i have so many coffee kits and i don't drink coffee but i wish i drank coffee and you know that's why I, <laughs> that's why i own all of these kits so cute love the bottom washi on this one as well that is gorgeous so i have here many things many extras oh, i have the glitter add-on for this one so we've got the freebie which is the alternate of the skin tones and more i love this has so many people in it and i love this it will make a double box right of the van with these two oh, fun love that and i also picked up the toolboxes as well because that outfit is an absolute vibe <laughs> and i've got the glitter headers there as well really really love that one so that is main street then i've got princess academia because look it's got books in it i have so many reading kits now i mean all i do really is read so it's not like it's a bad thing but i just really like this one i love the kind of spoopy vibes but with the real princess version when i saw this art i was like anna please please can you do it um i love the cat <laughs> and i love that the cat has its own box i just really love this it gives beauty and the beast vibes a little bit i think with the like massive library and stuff um but yeah i just think it's absolutely gorgeous i'm obsessed with it um i don't know when i'm going to use all these kits and i don't really want to be asked that question so please don't please don't ask me <laughs> bottom washy gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i did get the 15 millimeter for this one as well because i really liked the feathers and i wasn't sure whether like because obviously the flowers are quite a bold pattern whether i'd want to like break it up but i actually think it might look a bit weird if i do like the flowers kind of need to be in their full glory so I'm not sure if i'll use that um then we've got the freebies that came with the kit so cute and the glitter add-on for that one as well so that is princess academia many of these are still in shop if you do want to pick any of them up then we've got one of my favorite kits evs 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 <laughs> which is bookish so when jess released this art i was like i know that jess didn't release this for me but also I feel like she released this for me and I love it when Jess just mind reads me about what I want her to do because this kit is everything and I love the colours. It's so different for a book kit and she's just included so many things that I really love. I love that we've got like the planning element, we've got the books along the back row, we've got a library scented candle that says Kitness Jess, so cute. We've got some books that are just beautiful spines, the bookshop element, this is just perfect. I love it so much. We've got a Stanley cup in there. I have a Stanley. Look, here's my Stanley right here. <laughs> I don't have one of the ones with the big handles. I have like a transportable one. Um, I love that we've got these. These remind me of like the Penguin Cloth Bound Editions. We've got a Kindle there and I'm a Kindle girly now. Um, I still need to post about my Kindle. I love that we've got Heartstopper in this list of books. Uh, my favourite of all time. Way of Kings, Brandon Sanderson, great. The Hobbit, I've not read it, but Stuart's a big fan. Hobbit, of course. Legends and Lattes, I've read. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. Um, Priory of the Orange Tree. I know all of those books because I'm a booktube person. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just 
I'm obsessed with this kit. I can't wait to use it. And I think it's going to be perfect for me for next year. Um, cause this just, I'm, I'm not kind of ready to talk about it yet. Um, but there's some stuff happening next year that I just, yeah, this kit I think will be ideal. So we've got a ton of extras here because for some reason, um, Anna felt like any of us would notice, <laughs> which I definitely haven't. Um, but there was a misprinted box. So Anna also gave us some extra free doodles. Thanks, Anna. Um, we've got a flat lay here, which is the different skin tones of that hand. We've got the person with the beret. I have a beret and I really need to wear it more often because it perfectly matches my coat. Uh, we've got the deco and the doodles. I loved the 15 millimeter with that flower pattern, so I could not pick it up. Got the toolbox, absolutely love, and the glitter add-on. And then the final kit before we get into, well, I'll save the mysteries for the end, but I have three months of mysteries to show you because it's been so long since I've done a haul. Um, but this one is Winter Kisses and this is um, Jess's most recent art set, I think. And this is Winter in Paris and I think this is everything. I love it so much. This would have been absolutely perfect for the trip that Stuart and I took to Paris. It was our first ever holiday in January twenty. 20 um and it was freezing when we went and so this would have actually been perfect but I'm, I'm not gonna go back and do a week like that that already had a, a vertical spread but this would have been absolutely perfect because like we did go shopping on the Champs Elysees and you know just like there were croissants when we went to the Eiffel Tower and like, it's got like a fashion like two fashion people that could lean like to a girl and a guy they don't have to but could and yeah it just would have been perfect. So I, I had to get it, even though I don't think that me and Stuart will necessarily be rushing back to Paris um, because, you know, there's other places Stuart wants to see. I'd, I'd go back to Paris every year, but <laughs> there's other places Stuart wants to go. But I thought I would pick it up anyway. Um, so I am picking up the glitter add-on for this one in Black Friday. So we've got the alternatives. There's so many freebies with this one because Anna has included all of the fashion people. So these all came as freebies with the kit. So this kit will definitely last a while. And then we've also got the deco and doodles there. Sorry, that's a pigeon on the conservatory roof. So that is everything from Planner Phase other than the three most recent mysteries, which I will show you at the end of this video with plenty of spoiler warnings. Okay, next up we have the Coffee Monsters Co. So this is a mixture of one of the subs, one of the quarterly subs, and just some stuff I ordered via Miso Paper, who is a Coffee Monsters Co. stockist. I have unsubscribed from the Coffee Monsters, Coffee Monsters Co. mystery, and it's not because I don't like it, because I do. It's just the elements are quite journaling focused, and I don't necessarily use this sort of stuff as much in my planner. Um, so whilst I love it, I have decided to unsubscribe for now. But let me show you what we've got here. So... I don't know what came with what. I think the washies were separate. Um, so we've got these two emoti head washies, though I don't think I would have chosen to order those unless they were in a sub. So it might be that they're from a sub box. And then I've got this one, which is this cute like house, <laughs> uh, house one, street, cottagey street. Um, so those are those. And then in here we have, this is a really cute little, little sticker pocket there we've got this die cart which has a, a planning person with a koala very cute and then this would be really good for like hobonichis and journaling etc um spreads because it's got like the days of the week and things we've got some boxes there we've got some like black and white washi strips and we've got some very very small very small uh transparent doodles those are so tiny. I don't know that you can tell how tiny those are, but they are the tiny, tiniest. <laughs> um, so those are those. And then we also have a Coffee Monsters Co. lanyard, which is very cute. Like, I just do not know when I would use it, but it is very cute. Um, we've got another die cut, which is the planning person with a, a geese, a goose. Uh, that's for the lanyard. And then we've got these, which are in that same costume okay so i don't think actually any of this is from miso paper <laughs> i think it's all from uh sub boxes so i now don't know where the other stuff is that i got from miso paper maybe i already put it away um but yeah we've got some date like month or date numbers there those are very cute and more in that like cottage core pattern so uh oh and there's a stamp as well so yeah very cute it's just i don't know when i will use it all and i just felt i had to be 
you know, harsher with myself about where I'm spending my money. So as I say, I have unsubscribed for now. Um, but extras that are available do go up on shops like Miso Paper. So I might try and still pick those up if um, they haven't sold out already so that is everything from the copy monsters co next up we have scribble prints co i do have a bit of a mixture here of some stuff from the shop and some stuff that i picked up in the buy sell trade so i will go through so first up i've got this foil bundle which is a planner hannah and spc collab which is this mermaid theme and thank you to elisa for resending this to me because it got missing in the post and then went back to her and thankfully uh, she was able to resend it so i don't really remember why i picked this up i think elisa must have been selling it quite cheap so i thought oh why not it's cute um so it's in hollow and it's um one thing i will say i have said this before but planner hannah's foiling is not my favorite but actually the foiling here does look better than some i've had like there are some black marks um like yeah we have got a few but most of it is over here but yeah it's not um the quality isn't my favorite of planner hannah foil so um but you know it, i think it was quite cheap and i really like that bottom washi with the shells the um the bougie boxes are quite full on <laughs> with like the bubbles so i don't know like i don't really use patterned bougie boxes that often so we'll see how i feel about that but anyway that is that bundle and then i have got the tool boxes in fam three and fam six from trick or treat which is a kittenish jess set from ages ago that i do actually have the art from planner face and i use the kit in like my horizontal planner in 2018 or something like that uh but it as i say was when i was back in a horizontal and spc has been reformatting loads of jesse's old art and i thought yeah i think i am going to pick it up i would like to do this one in a seven by nine and i love the toolbox so yeah i did pick up one and three because uh i think this is one i will probably save for if stuart and i have children because it's got the kid boxes and stuart is kind of ready blonde and i have dark hair so i just like to pick up both so i have them uh, but i haven't picked up the kit yet i was waiting for black friday but um spc isn't doing a very big sale for black friday so i don't know if i'm gonna pick it up yet because the kits do stay in stock a while but i do like to pick up the label add-ons and like extras and things for kits i know i will be getting then i have one of the pop mysteries i maybe should have hidden this from you but i think like i think everybody knows what they are uh andrea reveals them now on video so this one is called catch em all which is the pokemon kit and um i'm pretty sure this is drawn by dusk who i think was absolutely the right choice to draw this because it is spot on to the anime i mean she's so talented when it comes to this kind of pop um like pop art and i picked this one up because you know pokemon's been a big part of my life um my brother is a really 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 big pokemon fan and as being his sister by association i was a pokemon fan um like my mum made me a togepi cake for my seventh or eighth birthday and i used to play pokemon with my brother ruby and sapphire were my favorites i used to breed skitties if any of you know the pokemon skitty and i used to name them after big brother contestants <laughs> um so yeah i you know i'm nowhere near on the level of fan as my brother but i also the pokemon to be a master soundtrack is peak music in my opinion i know all the words you know if you really want to challenge me i can sing most of the pokey rap like i you know i'm not as big of a fan of my brother but big part of my life and so i wanted to pick this up because I think the art is just so spot on uh, to to the show, but also I think it will be perfect for my brother's 30th, which is not for a couple of years, but I'm nothing if not prepared. <laughs> so I, yeah, I've picked this up and I'm going to be saving it for his 30th. So yeah, really cute here. We've got Squirtle, we've got Misty, Jigglypuff, Ash, Jesse and James. I love the Team Rocket song in particular from the, the To Be A Master soundtrack. Got Pikachu. Um, I love the deco in this one because we've got like the Pokemon, you know, we've got Ghastly, Charmander, Snorlax, Bulbasaur, Meow, Gloom, Logo Bulby in his own little box. That's so cute. I love that we've got all the starters um, from the original. And I'm glad that we focused on the original Pokemon because I, I'm, I'm not really into anything beyond the, um, what is this region called? I can't think of the name now um but yeah i'm not really i'm not really about other than skitty obviously who's my whole world um so i picked up the extra pokemon unless that came with it i don't know but i think i probably paid for that then we've got two label add-ons one in the additional color which is the blue 
Uh, it came with the freebie was Pokeballs, which is really cute. And then we've got Brock there on the back. I don't know how I feel about that very intense Pokeball washi, but I can totally see why it's a thing. <laughs> I just don't know how I feel about it. But yeah, I really like that kit. I think it's done really, really well. So that is Catch em All. Um, and with the mysteries, they are not available in shop after like the week they go for sale. So I don't know if you can email Andre and get them or not. Um, so now I think all the rest of this is buy, sell, trade. So friends we have another kit in the set i'm trying to collect thank you so much who tags me in this uh sylvia um i'm so grateful for you letting me know about this so this is the aerial kit this is from a set of like modern disney princess kits that andrea did before i shopped with spc i'm so close <laughs> to having the set i'm still on the hunt particularly for the mulan one if you have the mulan one please can you get in touch with me <laughs> because i had it and then stackery destroyed it and i no longer have it so please if you could get in touch with me if you have the mulan one i think there might be a peter pan one as well which i think i don't have so if you have the peter pan one that would also be great but we're, we're getting there friends we're getting so close to me having the full set so this as i say is the aerial one and i really like this one it's very uk beach vibes to be honest in my opinion um but yeah i really like the colors it's very pastel uh so we have got this little this is how old these kits are uh we've got the glitter headers labels etc so this is the ultimate kit i usually buy the mini kit from spc but um so there we've got ariel and eric this is quite different because normally their faces are cut off in this set so nice to see their faces uh but yeah i just love this art and if you've been here a while i love disney you know got engaged there and everything um so i really really love having these um and that's their bottom washi there uh so i need to find a 15 millimeter for that but that should be easy enough as i just need a pink one so that is ariel then i have here just the toolboxes for the um haunted mansion the original kit i want to say a massive thank you to the person who sent these to me because i didn't think i was ever going to get these i have wanted that original haunted mansion kit for a really 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 long time and because the original version had the toolbox in it and nobody has been reselling that one and the kit was reformatted multiple times but i didn't pick it up because it didn't have the toolbox and i really really wanted the toolbox and i'd kind of given up hope and i'd bought the kit um uh, I, in a version i don't think it's the newest version i think it's an older version and i didn't think i would ever get the fashion boxes and then I put a request out and somebody heard me and they sent me these. So I'm so, so, so pleased to have this. And it's fam three. So that's perfect for me. So thank you. That's like, there's a, there's a few sets from SPC that I've wanted for a really long time. And when I collect them, it's really special. And that's one of them. So I'm like genuinely grinning right now. So next up, we have uh, this set, which is a Tiana one. This is really old SPC here, but I just decided to pick it up. I think someone was selling it cheap. And obviously it's in that same vein of the older art kits. We've got Naveen here. We've got Tiana and Lottie. And I just love the New Orleans vibes. New Orleans is somewhere I would really, really love to go at some point. There's not many places I'm interested in traveling to, to be honest, but New Orleans is one of them. Um, this is a really, really small kit. <laughs> it's got only a handful of boxes it's got one of these really really old freebies and the bottom washi so yeah, it's such an old kit um but it's beautiful and i want to complete the set so that's why i have that one then i have the audrey kit um eagle-eyed amongst you will know i've already had this kit i used it last year for the week before my birthday and it's one of my favorite spreads of all time i love it and somebody was selling it quite cheap and i just thought I won't get the opportunity to get that kit again. So I'm going to get it. And I do still have extras from that one. I'm not sure I'll ever redo the spread. Like I, there was nothing about that spread I didn't like. So there's, there's no reason for me to do it again. But I just love it. Uh, I could have used it this year. Me and mum went on the like perfect uh use for this kit which was a tiffany themed afternoon tea <laughs> um at harrod selfridges selfridges i think um so yeah this was like we i could have used it but it was in anna's birthday week so i used a different kit for that um but yeah so i don't think i will ever have a need to use this again but i don't care because i just love it um it, as i say there's some of those kits that just are really really special to me and <laughs> this is one of them <laughs> so yeah very pleased to have that that's the audrey kit uh then i have this one which is taco bell so this is um this wasn't exclusive 
Um, and this is just art that I've just always really liked, despite the fact that, you know, we don't... Well, we do have Taco Bell over here. Um, I think I've only had Taco Bell once. Um, I just like it. You know, is I don't think it's reflective of the UK at all, and it doesn't need to be, but I just really like it. And I've liked the art for a long time, and someone was selling it quite cheap, and I thought, now's my time. Um, so, yeah, I love... I, I mean, that. I wish I could do my hair like that. Uh, like, yeah, I love the fashion people in this. I love the, like, Taco Bell van um so yeah i just thought it was really cute so i wanted to have it i love the colors it's um actually very princess and the frog vibes <laughs> um so this looks like an ultimate kit because it's got so many love the bottom wishy in that leopard print and it's got the 15 millimeter as well so that's fabulous and then the last one is fiesta this is again art that i just really like it's the same artist that does those disney sets and it's just art i've really wanted for a long time but didn't have a need for because ultimately it's you know we don't really have um this kind of celebration uh in the uk but someone was selling it cheap and so i thought it's time um and hopefully i will do something in my life that i can use this for um so yeah equally beautiful fashion people i love all the food flat lays here i love this um bar as well you know we do go and eat in like restaurants like this huh oh there's two of the full boxes interesting well that's great um that will mean i can use the kit multiple times i think this is only a mini kit though um it doesn't feel like it's got multiple pages. Love these colours. Oh my word. Love the deco of that. This is such a fun kit. Um, maybe this wasn't a mini kit. I don't know. But yeah, we've got the alternate boxes in there. Amazing. And I love that bottom washi. Uh, cool. I'm fine with that. Not mad about it at all. Um, so that is everything from SPC. Next up, we just have a small order from Hello Petite Paper. Um, I love Hello Petite Paper stuff, but the stickers are a bit of a higher price point and so i do try and be choosy about what i buy and she does a beautiful disney range so obviously i have to have it so this is her business card i love these they're so cute i'm gonna put that in my little box uh then the freebie <laughs> this is from august this haul is so overdue um so that's a really cute freebie there with some doodles and some journaling items and then the kit i picked up is called rapunzel I did pick it up with the foil because i have the jasmine one with foil and it it, it just these kits are beautiful but the foil just lifts it in a in a really really special way and so i wanted to pick up it with the foil for the rapunzel kit i love this and tangled is one of my favorite films um i went to see it with my mum originally and we were the only two people in the cinema and we didn't really like it it was the you know it was the first of those like newer sort of cgi films and we were not sure about it and then I went to see it again by myself and I was like, actually, I love this film so much. So, yeah, really, and I love the music. It's like music I sing all the time around the house. So the kit formats are not my typical. You know, they have a lot of really dainty elements, which is not how I plan. There's not remotely enough boxes, but I make it work. And the bottom washi, I love the book stack with Pascal just cheekily around there. And I love the flowers as well. So, yeah, to be honest, I just like to have them. <laughs> because they're just so beautiful. So that is everything from Hello Petite Paper. Next up, we have just a small order from Oodam with Doodles. I'm pretty sure all I ordered was extender boxes, but I just wanted to show you, I think it's that way around, uh, how gorgeously packed this is. I think Grace has just done such a lovely job with that. Grace or Chief Packer, her dad, <laughs> uh, who does pack a lot of the orders. Um, so, I, as a, yeah, I've not opened this yet um, because I was kind of saving it to show you that. Uh, so we've got this cute card which says good things are going to happen that is one of the loyalty cards we've got this one which is the freebie which just says like plan relax work and some stickers there and then yeah i just picked up uh some extender boxes in the well we've got a bit of a mixture so these are the ones that open like this way or this way uh for side boxes um then these ones are ones that flip up or down so I just needed I'd completely run out of wide day so I just wanted to order some more and I thought I'd order some more vertical while I was there as well so yeah just very useful to have for extenders uh, you know extending plans in your spreads <laughs> this pack is then a little bit of a mishmash because these are just like freebies I've been sent for people and then there's one kit from glam planner um so whenever I order stuff from the buy sell trade people are always so generous and send me loads of extras but because stackery just puts everything together I don't know who everything is from so we've got this cute card here this is from Shah it says Catherine <laughs> uh, thank you for helping me clear out my office I hope you enjoy the stickers um so 
but these are will I expect be from multiple people I doubt they're from all one person but I've just put them all together so uh we've got these foil icons from SPC which are the fork and spoon which always makes me laugh these ones from Murdoch Talks which are a sparkly purple that, those are really cute these I love whimsical cat studio oops but with the heart those are so cute I would like a, a, just a million percent use those um these are some little boxes oodle doodle oh day covers okay interesting uh then we've got a matte foil bundle in glossy sorry so I shouldn't have said matte foil bundle <laughs> I don't know what you call these though with like solid solid foil bundle um but in glossy rather than matte all the other ones I have are in matte um I don't use these so I will gift this on um but it has got like a full set there um this one is the what does that say 300 I think dollar freebie which is the sparkly hollow these are not what the 300 dollar freebies are now but that in sparkly hollow i don't particularly use the matte boxes uh so again i'll probably gift it on this one is july 2023 100 plus order freebie from plan with me stickers which is in uh it's not matte bronze and it's not gold it's kind of in between fuck you uh then we've got these glitter headers and boxes from planet fancy that's always very useful those are in glossy got some boxes here uh, which i will always keep stuff like that i'll always find kits they'll work for again we've got some plain ones and some there so that's always really helpful these are one of the freebies that we got with the advent the spc the foil advent spc did last year um so these are kind of hard to use because the boxes are all different but I, if i get enough of them maybe i'll be able to um so those are all kind of yeah my just random collection there and then this is a kit that i picked up i think from elisa as well which is enchanted winter from glam planner i just think this is so beautiful it's really different to anything i would normally use i don't typically use Celise art in my planner and this was a Celise mystery for l but i just i saw some people do spreads with this and i thought it's so different i think i have to have it it's so like it's just so peaceful it's so like white and light blues and just it really takes you in that wolf is staring me down though um so this is the like bigger kit i don't know what l's kit sizes are called lux um so it's got a lot of stuff in here which is great not a lot of deco though to be honest that's a shame um full boxes and stuff uh glam planner does three bottom washi uh we've got a label add-on the toolbox i really like i think i would only use the blonde one though to like keep with that like really muted color scheme the double box which is this gorgeous scene that's really nice and what is here as well oh oh i like the kind of grayish brown hair that that might use that one uh we've got like and some more boxes there such a big kit and then we've got here the mystery that came with it which is shattered hollow so the um glam planner mystery foils will like really cover the elements so like that is the wolf so i'm i haven't used any of them yet there might be some i would use there i wouldn't use all of them like that's going to be way too much foil um but we'll see we'll see what i decide to use but yeah i had kind of put off ordering this um or picking it up from anywhere but i finally decided to get it because i just thought actually it's really different and i like any kits that are different so that is everything from everybody um other than the planner face mysteries which i have the october september and november so i'll just put them in the right order so i will still give you a spoiler warning before all of them you've probably you've probably seen them um because i'm a bit late with this but if you have not seen them uh then you know obviously click away now thanks so much for watching but otherwise we will start with september so this is your warning for three two one here we go okay so just while i'm opening this up just to let you know in case you're not aware i do work with anna on the planner face mystery i help come up with themes mood boards clip art lists um all that kind of stuff i'm very involved in the mystery um there are certain ones which are more me some that are more anna and some we work on really joint so it just kind of depends on the theme um but yeah it does also mean i get them gifted for free as a result of uh, working with anna on the mystery so for the september one we have this gorgeous log cabin theme this was not what we were planning to do for this year but i'd made a board with a few elements and anna really liked it and ran with it she had some really really good ideas and look if we can get a dog in a truck we're going for it okay this one really gives me hallmark movie vibes if you're into hallmark movies which i very much am <laughs> i am absolutely a hallmark christmas movie person i think this really gives those vibes 
I just think it's gorgeous. I'm so, so happy with how it came out. I love the log cabin scene. I love that we've got like the feet of a couple there. Just so cute. I'm so happy with this one. I love the colours as well because it is traditional Christmas, but with the kind of brown element rather than the yellow or gold, which is just beautiful. So this is the standard vertical kit because I do, that's what I normally get in the shop. So I do get that from Anna. Um, so in terms of extras, we always get loads for the mystery. You can easily work the mist make the mystery last two spreads, if not more. So we've got the uh fashion person. Just, I love like the opening of the present. We've got a close up of the dog. Look, Anna and I are dog people. Okay, I mean, I'm actually also, also a cat person. Um, we have the deco and the doodles, the toolbox, which is the other fashion person. This is a hundred percent an outfit I would wear down to an absolute tee, other than the fact my hair never looks that cute, but otherwise, that's me. Um, love the 15 millimeter being that wood pattern. We've got the box add on, which I don't typically buy from Planner Face because I get the glitter add on, but you get both in the mystery, which is fun and again means the kit goes goes really far um and then we have the mystery page this is just specific to the mystery so we have the gorgeous outside of the log cabin scene as well as the mystery scripts doodles the squares the paint splodges and the extra boxes and my favorite the movie marquee so obsessed with that um you won't be able to pick this one up anymore um but anna does typically reformat the mysteries a year after they came out so next september is your time if you didn't pick it up or have a look in the planner face by sell trade facebook group so anna introduced journaling mysteries in july i believe and i do get the journaling mystery as well and i do have a plan for these next year which is really exciting um so in terms of the um this was also the die cut. My die cut must be somewhere in that pile <laughs> or I've dropped it somewhere, which is very like me. Um, I'm sure I've just misplaced it. But yeah, there is um, this die cut as well. Obviously, I get two die cuts because I get two of the mysteries anyway. Uh, but they're gorgeous like cross stitch pattern. Um, so we've got that. Um, we've also got, oh, this was Anna letting people know she was in the Plan of Boss Collective sale back in September. Cute freebie. And this is the journaling kit. So the mystery journaling kit is four pages. So this page, is the same as what you normally get in the shop now so it's the kind of torn pieces of paper and the um uh, monday to sunday and sort of washi strips and then we also get this sheet which is the giant uh, deco which i really like and the giant matching coordinating flowers love 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 the new journaling format then the mystery journaling kits come with these additional pages so this one we have these extra boxes the kind of doilies which are actually split in half so you can or at least that one is uh yeah. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. The two on the outside are. Um, I haven't used any of mine yet. Um, we've got the paint splodges there as well. Super fun. And then we've also got this sheet, which is on a different paper. It's on a washi paper rather than the normal paper. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but it's like a lot thinner because it's like washi tape. Um, so we've got the washi page there. So yeah, I just love the new journaling kits and having a Christmassy one. Ideal. So that is September. Uh, next we have October. So again, if you don't want to watch any more, please click off. But otherwise, I will show you October's in three, two, one. <sighs> okay, so this is a theme that it was one of the first themes I ever came up with. And every time we talked about doing it, we were like, no, it's not the right time. And we need to wait longer or, you know, it just there was like other kits that maybe were even slightly similar and we decided to push it. But now is the time. And this one is called Besties. And the kit's actually really evolved. It started as a Galentine's kit. That was what, what my initial theme idea was. But the more I added to it, the more it went bestie themed. And I love that it went bestie themed because I just think it gives it even more uses. Like, yes, you can use it for Galentine's, but you can use it for celebrating any of your besties. I actually said to Anna, I think this is perfect for a Hindu. Uh, so we were like talking about whether we would use it for my Hindu or not. Um, I just think it's it's got so many uses. Um, and I just love it. I love the fashion people. Like, I just, I love this outfit. I'm obsessed with it. I'd 100% wear it. Again, berets. They're really in right now. Um, so we've got this scene, uh, which Anna chose, which I think is perfect, which has got like all these balloons and we've got the flat lays of the food. Nella did such a good job with this one. We've got the like clinking of glasses. I love this mirror as well with the like positive post-its on it. So cute. And here we've got more. So we've got the shopping bags and we've got... I just love any kind of flat layer food. <laughs> and this one is, it's very pink and red. I actually love how pink and red look in spreads. 
I've done a few pink and red spreads and they're some of my favourites. So I hope that you will enjoy doing such a pink and red spread. Look at the bottom washi on my words. I love those hearts. It's you guys must think it's really weird watching me unbox the mystery because obviously I know what's in there but I actually don't Anna will send me the full boxes when she's designed the kit but she doesn't send me the full kit so that I still have like an element of surprise um and so to me I mostly am thinking about the full boxes because that's the art as I know it so it's really fun when I get to see the whole kit put together so the die cut for this one is adorable which is this best friend's like heart that goes together like that that's so cute um and then we've got the doodle and deco and then as usual a million extras so we've got that best friends biscuit we've got an i love you here so again if you didn't even yeah i think this would be uh like good for anyone's birthday and stuff like that we've got happy birthday bestie and happy galentine's day so cute and then we've got the alternates of the fashion person from the front boxes we've got the 15 millimeter and then the other fashion person that we went with is in dungarees, which is just Anna lives in dungarees at the moment. And I love how those came out. Look at the just beautiful pink and red. I have a, this exact top, actually. <laughs> so maybe I need to get some dungarees. Anna's been trying to get me to get some. Uh, we've got the glitter add-on. We've got the box add-on. And then the mystery page has got that sort of um, kitchen scene and then the rest of the mystery items. So, so fun. <laughs> I love that one. And I've also got the journaling kit of it as well so oh there's my part of my die cut is stuck in there come out come out it's just stuck behind the sticker there um so i feel my life is getting a little bit messy i'm not gonna not gonna lie to you gang <laughs> um so yeah i get multiples of the die cuts there um so same format as the other ones so i'll go through it a little bit quicker but so fun i love the size of that deco and anna's gone with the fashion person with pink hair there as the sort of most matchy matchy so cute i love this one it's so fun so that is october and then we have november so this is the most recent mystery so if you you may not have seen this one yet um so this is your your warning to click away if you do not know what this one is but otherwise i will show it to you in three two one so this is, I think, one of the most unique themes we've ever done. And Anna and I had spoken about some themes in the vicinity of this theme before. And we have various mood boards that could go in multiple different ways for kind of movie themes. And then this is the one that just stuck, that we just really wanted to go with like a Hollywood theme. And then Anna had the idea to do the whole thing black and white. And it just gives it this glorious vintage look. And I I just have never seen a kit like this. Uh, Dinda did such a good job with the art. And I just, I love it. I love it so much. So for the die cut, we of course have the Hollywood clapper board. Then for the kit, we've got the typewriter flat lay. We've got the old school movie theatre. We've got all these movie elements. We've got the car the fashion person in the chair. I don't know if any of you watched the show, I think, was it called Hollywood, that was on Netflix? I don't know if it's getting a second series, um, but it was so good and it really <laughs> reminds me of that. Um, if you liked the book Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I think this would be ideal for a read of that. I think this would be good for the Oscars, uh, any kind of movie you wanted to go see. Um, and I love movies from this sort of 40s era. Uh, and the whole kit is black and white and grey. It's so cool. And and I've done one black and white spread before with a different kit and it looked really good. So I think that this will look pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, I love the star pattern. I just, I don't know. I'm grinning again. Uh, it's so fun. The bottom washi is one of my favourite bottom washies we've literally ever, ever, ever had. It could not have been more perfect. Um, we've got Doodles and Deco. We've got this Marilyn Monroe box, which is so cool. Alternative of the skin tones. The 15mm. The other box, which is just glorious i just this gives me absolute evelyn hugo vibes um we've got the glitter add-on the box add-on and then we've got the inside of the movie theater on the mystery page obsessed absolutely obsessed and then we have the journaling which is in the same format as the last one last two so we've got i've got the die cut again and this will just make for such a fun spread <laughs> look at it look at it 
it's so gorgeous it's just so moody and of the time and i just i love everything about it i like that as a wash as a washi strip i'm overwhelmed um so yeah as i said the mysteries you won't be able to pick them up now but anna does re-release them um a year after so that's when you'll be able to pick them up or have a look in the buy sell trade um if i get this video up in time it will be the december theme which anna has just sneaked um which I don't think it would be any secret for me to say it leans pets because <laughs> that's that's the sneak. Um, and then for January, we've got a cute theme planned. Um, thank you so much for all the love on the mystery, as always. It's really, really fun work with Anna on the mystery. But I can't believe that we have nearly done. Is this the third year of mysteries or the second? This is is this the third year of mysteries? I think it's the third that's madness wow i'm quite overwhelmed thinking about that um but yeah thank you so much for uh all your love on the mystery we always appreciate it and you can check a look on the website basically subscriptions are open from the 25th to the first of each month so have a look on the website during that period if you would like to subscribe otherwise my phone is going to die very soon so i'm going to try and very quickly film my outro <laughs> Okay, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you subscribe. And I will link to all of these shops in the description down below. I will also have links to my Instagram and my Goodreads if you want to check out any more content from me. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!